Hey, I think I'm live. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Travis, and this is Seraltos, and uh, this is my first live stream. So uh, nobody's joined yet, but if you happen to watch this, um, I'm just doing this primarily as a test, but I thought as I'm doing it, I might as well do a quick video on my thoughts on Azure certifications. So apologies in advance, in advance for, apologies for not, uh, uh, don't, setting this up in advance or sending out any notifications. I hope to do this more regularly uh, as we move along to answer some of the questions that come my way. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna start, like I said, with my thoughts on Azure certification. So this industry is changing fast. It's, it's uh, changing so fast, a lot of books can't keep up with the rate of change uh, with Azure and other cloud resources. Uh, um, I've been certified since 1999. Uh, I've got certifications with Microsoft, Citrix, uh, VMware, Cisco, CompTIA, and probably a couple others. Uh, I'm also a Microsoft certified trainer, so you could probably imagine that I'm pretty pro certifications. But what I wanted to point out or bring up is that the way I treat certifications and I have through my whole career, I've never done the certifications just to say I have the certification, although that's a big plus. Um, I really use them as guided learning. So when something new came out or there's some new challenge or something that I wanted to uh, uh, learn, I typically went to the certifications. Uh, Exchange is a good example. Um, when I needed to learn Exchange, I got the Exchange certification exams, uh, got the book and started working through the lab. So it was really a guided learning. At the end of it, I got a certification because if you're going to go through the work, you might as well do the certification as well. Um, this is where I normally put in a jump cut on my regular videos, so I'm just reading my notes here. Azure certifications, um, let's see, there's a list of requirements posted, so uh, you can go through and see what the requirements are. Uh, there are tons of resources out there from Microsoft Learn, um, um, lots of free content. I've got some content on the uh, AZ-103, which is now the 104. Um, but really, I think there is a lot of value still to having these. And if anything, that rate of change uh, is really important to stay certified and to stay up to date. It really gives you that, that framework on what to learn next. Um, uh, I've uh, been a hiring manager, and uh, I know that there's a lot of organizations out there who either don't support certifications, maybe they don't see the value in it, or they do. Uh, one of my favorite lines is, is what if we train somebody and uh, they leave and go to another organization and the uh, comeback to that is, well, what if you don't train them and they stay? So there is a bigger risk to not learning for uh, organizations if you're facing that. But if you're still on your own with this, it's uh, still a good, uh, good uh, thing to go through and do uh, just to prove that you're continuing to learn. Um, the Azure certifications are not cheap. So uh, there's a cost associated with it. Back when I was doing labs for uh, Windows Server and Exchange and that kind of stuff, I would get old equipment, uh, typically needed some upgrades. It was typically stuff that the organization I was working for was throwing away. And then I would um, uh, work through the labs on that. Well, you can't do that with Azure. Azure does have, uh, uh, you can get a starter subscription. I think it has a $200 credit and then uh, it has some free services that you can use over the course of a year. Uh, but you will be spending money. Uh, 25 to $50 a month is probably gonna be, um, you know, if you're really working towards different certifications, it's gonna be the minimum amount you'll spend uh, for that. A good spot to start though, if you are starting out, is with Azure Cost Management. So you can learn how to set up alerts and prevent those unexpected, uh, uh, budget increases or unexpected expenses to make sure you shut things down properly. Um, I know over the years I've spent a lot of money on the upgrading that lab equipment, um, electricity, having equipment sitting around my house, paying to get rid of it when I'm done with it. Uh, so paying that $25 to $50 a month, it kind of, it, it's, it's part of the, part of the process. 
Uh, so do I think they're worth it? Absolutely. Um, I've, if you're just getting started with Azure, take a look at the AZ900. That's got a lot of great content, and there is a lot of resources available to get started on that as far as learning. And uh, then the AZ104 exam. I do have some material uh, that I put together. It's not all inclusive. Uh, there's some stuff missing, but it is a good place to get started. It's a AZ103 playlist, but that translates pretty well to the AZ104. So anyway, thanks for tuning in if you did or watching this if you're watching the recording. Um, I'll do better at scheduling these so people can know when I'm going to go live. Uh, but I just want to thank everyone uh, for joining. And I do see some messages coming across. I apologize that I'm not able to respond to those. Like I said, I'm still new. I'm still trying to figure this out. So um, thanks again, and I'll talk to you later.